Putting this carp together for my dust collection system, I want to put casters on it so that I can move it around my garage. I had some casters left over from some old furniture, but I ran into a problem. This has a sleeve that slides over the axles, and I don't have a drill bit that is the right size so that I can make this a tight fit into the blocks that I'm going to mount up underneath the box. So I had to come up with an alternative. I didn't want to go buy new casters for this project. So I found some plastic clear tubing that the axle of the casters would fit up inside of. It actually causes it to expand just a little bit. You can see that that's a relatively snug fit. So what I'm going to do is cut four pieces, one for each block. I'm going to slide these in here. They're the width of the block and then when I'm ready I'll take the caster slide the axle in there and push it in to where this is tight. I'm not going to do it now until I get these blocks mounted to the box of the cart. I don't think I'm going to need any epoxy or any glue on these. They're pretty snug as they sit but if it turns out that it's a problem and I lose a caster I'll go back and put some kind of an adhesive in there. I've got my blocks mounted for my casters and I've already put the vinyl tubing inside so now it's just a matter of sliding these casters down in. That's a really nice snug fit. That should work.
Well, I'm getting a fresh start on this handle. This top part right here was really kicking my butt last night, so I had to just put it away and uh, come back in here this morning fresh. So what I've done, I didn't really have this notched out before, so I didn't have a lot of contact between this piece of conduit, which is half inch electrical conduit, and this square tube. This is real thin, so it's already given me enough trouble. So I think what I've got here is going to work. I've notched these out a little bit so I get more contact. And I've actually laid the handles down and squared them up with the sides of the cart so that everything is the right width. Now it's just a matter of being able to get this to stay here long enough so I can get some tack welds. And then I'll finish it. At, at the bench. I'm not going to finish welding it right here. This is just going to be to help me get my spacing. So if I can keep this all together long enough to get a couple of welds that will hold, we'll be all set. Man, yeah, that ought to do. Guess I need to plug this in, huh? That sounds better. Get my 100% Shrek skin welding gloves. Just kidding, kids. Shrek is alive and well. Okay, the handle for the dust collection cart is finished, minus the paint job and installing it on there. The welds, like I had mentioned, aren't real pretty. This material here, the square tubing, is really thin and it was just about impossible to run a bead across there, but I managed to tack the living crap out of it and I think that's going to be just fine. It'll work until it doesn't work. When I cut these handles off, I left a little hanging out of there. I wasn't really quite sure how to finish those off. And it just turned out that I was lucky enough to have some of these black caps that are going to fit over the end of that perfectly. Sometimes dumb luck comes your way.